With the increased costs of transportation, the trend toward localization is seen as a solution for what some see as an impending crisis. Said amidst the hustle and bustle of urban Pasadena, the Derveis family has transformed their ordinary city lot into an urban farm that produces 6,000 pounds of fruits and vegetables a year. So we're trying to be as self-sufficient as possible, whether directly self-sufficient by growing it here and then putting it on, into our, into our, uh, on our, onto our table, or send it to a restaurant, have them give me cash, and then I'll go buy what I can't grow. They've been able to not only grow their own food and turn their one small garden into a thriving local business, but have also drawn inspiration from the Victory Gardens planted by private citizens during World War II. We take it to here. If they did it back then, and, our, and, the, and it has been done, and the, the precedent has been set, why can't we do that again? Why can't we have Victory Gardens popping up all over the place? Victory Gardens were planted at private residences to boost morale and to reduce pressure on the public food supply and also served to empower people by giving them more control over their food during uncertain times. There's community gardens, there's, there's container gardening, uh, people do, do it on their balconies. Anything that, that says that we are growing our own food says that we have hope. Reporting from Pasadena, for SoCal News, I'm Reginald Miller.